Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a color picker using MIT App Inventor. So let me show you how this works. So here you can see a small black ball. You need to move this around to pick a color. So if I move it to this side, you can see that this color is red, somewhat red and then you can see I can pick a color from here. So what is the use of the color picker? This can be used in apps like the paint app. So I have created a tutorial for paint app in MIT App Inventor. So for that the user can pick any color here and they will be able to see the color, the preview of the color here. Also this is the RGB value. So the first one is 41 which is the value for red or R and next one is G which is 98 green and then B which is blue. So blue is 255 the value for blue. So the same way you can see the RGB for all of these colors and also the preview for the colors. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. First we are going to put the title for this app. So let me bring in a label and here let me change the text of this label to be color picker. Now I'm going to make the font to be bold and let me put the font size of this to be 25. Next I'm going to put this to be at the middle. So let's go to screen 1 and here I'm going to change the align horizontal to be center like this. Now you can see that this came to the center of the screen. Next we need to show the color wheel for the color picker. So for that we are going to use the canvas so that they can move the ball around it. So let me go to here you can see let's go to drawing and animation and let me bring in canvas. Here I am going to upload the image of a color picker. I am going to give the link in the description below so that you can upload the color picker too. Now you can see that the color picker picture is uploaded so you can also upload it by using the link in the description. Now let me put the background color of this to be none like this. Next what we are going to do is I'm going to put a gap so for that let me bring in a label and let's erase all the text from this label. Now make sure you put the height of this to be 2% to give 2% of gap between the items. Now let me bring in the another label and here I'm going to put color. I'm going to make the font to be bold and let me increase the font size of this to be 20 like this and here they, they should be able to see the preview of the color. So for that we are going to use Let's go to layout and here you can use horizontal arrangement. So let me bring in like this. And I'm going to put the height and width of this to be the height should be 20% and then I'm going to put the width of this to be 30% like this one. You can see here. Next I'm going to bring in another label and here we are going to show the RGB value the red, green and blue. So now I'm going to put 255, 255 and then 255 because it is the default value for white. So now let's go to the drawing and animation and we are going to bring in a ball. So this ball is so that they can move all around the, the canvas and pick a color. So let me put it at the middle where the color is white like this. Now we are going to rename some of these components so that we can understand well in the block section. So for that let me click on rename and here for this canvas I am going to put color wheel because this is the color wheel. Next for this ball here I am going to put let me go to rename and here I am going to put the name of this ball to be color picker. Now you can see that I renamed all of these. So for this I put color wheel, for this I put color picker and here for this horizontal arrangement I have renamed it to be color because here we will show the preview of the color and here we will show the RGB value. So I have renamed it to be RGB. Now let's go to the block section. So first when they drag the color picker, so when they drag this ball, so for example if they put it here, the color needs, the color here in this horizontal arrangement needs to change to blue. So it should change to whatever color they drag here using the color picker. So let me put it here at the middle and let's go to the blocks again. Now what we are going to do is when the color picker is dragged, when color wheel dot drag, here we will we need to change the color here. So for that here you can see set color dot background color to here the color is going to be let's go to color wheel and now if you scroll down a little bit here you can see there's a block called get 
background pixel color so let me bring in this like this and then the x and the y value needs to be the start i'm sorry the current x let me just bring it here and then here let's put the current y also what we need to do is whenever they drag this color picker it needs to move its position so for that in the block section here you can see let's go to the color picker or the ball and here what we are going to do is if you scroll down a little bit here you will be able to see move to x and y let's bring in this block here and then here again we are going to put the current x and the current y so that it will move to the current position which it is at right now so for example if they drag it here then it needs to move here the ball next what we need to do is we need to set the rgb value here in this label the rgb label so for that let's go to here and now we are going to bring in set rgb te dot text to now we are going to use the join block because we will use multiple items here so first we will split a color so here you can see there is something called split color and the color is going to be let me duplicate this so this is the color here you can see now after we split it we need to get the first one which is r the r value or the red value so here you can see there is something called select list item and then let's put it here as the list and then the index needs to be 1 so let me explain you how this code works so first you will get the color and then after it splits the color what will happen is it will turn it into three values red green and blue rgb so after it turns we need to get the first value and show it here like this next we need to put a comma so let me just bring in the text and here let me put a comma here again what i'm going to do is let me bring in another string i'm going to duplicate this and this time we need to get the second value or the green value the g so for that let me put the index of this to be 2 now let me put another string here we need two more strings here again we are going to put a comma to separate the values and now let me duplicate this and here let me put 3 so the third one is the b value or the blue value so here you can see the color picker i'm going to move the color picker all around this color v now you can see that the color changes to whatever color so now let me bring it here now you can see that the color is red and you can see it shows the rgb value for red like this and the same way i can move it around and it shows the rgb value and we can also see the color preview here next you need to add this color picker feature in the paint app or the coloring app which i made earlier so if you haven't seen the video you can see it now so if you want to create the paint app or the coloring app you can watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor to create more fantastic mobile apps like this one Oh, 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 oh,